Hello and welcome to GeForce. I'm Julian. This is Sergey, and we're here to talk about The Sinking City. This, we saw a trailer of it at the PC gaming show. I'm really fascinated with this game, but for those who might have missed it, tell us what's The Sinking City about? Sure, so The Sinking City is actually an open world action investigation game, which is like heavily, heavily inspired by Howard Phillips Lovecraft. And you know, the game takes place in the 1920s United States, which means that we have jazz in the game, we have like prohibition in the game, you know, we have other elements of the traditional American culture, but at the same time, it's also Lovecraft, so it's desolation, it's decay, it's cosmic fear, uh, and you know, the game takes place in the fictional city of Oakmont, in, in the state of Massachusetts. The city which is completely flooded, like, it is completely, like, devastated by this mysterious disaster. Nobody knows what the hell is going on, actually. Nobody Cthulhu knows. did it. Uh, maybe. Maybe. maybe like, oh, so it's a detective game, I have to find out. I love the noir genre. H.P. Lovecraft has a lot of really creepy, wonderful imagery that's gotten very popular. You guys have a lot of experience making detective games, right? Yeah, that's you true. Made... Sherlock Holmes games and Sherlock Holmes games. So what's the departure like now going into The Sinking City from Sherlock Holmes? The thing is that Sherlock Holmes was kind of a linear game for us and like The Sinking City is a new territory. We really want to do this concept of no hand-holding in which we, we never tell the player actually where to go or what to do. We never give them any objectives or you know, any markers on the map. It's usually up to them to decide. So we give them information, we give them evidence, we give them clues, we give them all of that. But like in return we ask them you know, to use this information wisely. I really love that concept because when I play a detective game, sometimes it is very objective-based and it feels like I don't have to apply any thought to it. So I'm not really being a detective. But it sounds like you guys are saying, okay, here's you know what you know, here's where you can go, now figure out what to do from here. So the idea is that you'll make your own choices, not only in investigation, but also in combat, for example, because there are monsters in the game and we want you to protect yourself, but based on each particular encounter, we actually want you to make a decision whether or not, for example, you want to engage, whether or not you want to like maybe run away, because there are a lot of factors that like, you know, can influence your decision. And the game is all about making these decisions. So you guys are uh, still in development. When are you thinking of actually launching The Sinking City? We still have like things to do. We still have to add you know, more content, more quests and all that. The game is coming in March next year. So yeah, that's the release date, March 21st, 2019. Well, Sergey, thanks so much for coming in and telling us about The Sinking City. Thank, thank you for having me, man. If you guys are interested, it's coming out March of next year. In the meantime, stay tuned here on GeForce because we still have our contest where we're giving away a monitor, graphics cards, $5,000 PC build, and all you have to do is subscribe, leave a comment for your chance to win. Stay tuned here for more on GeForce.